welcome this is the energy vibration reading for us sun moon and rising virgos i want to say thank you for being back thank you for all your likes shares and support and uh, this is going to be a wonderful week as i look at your week um it's a positive week we have the page of pentacles we have the two of pentacles we have so much energies that is coming up in this week and um, it is the week of uh, um, justice, the week of justice. So a lot of things will be happening. Uh, we have the energy, the major arcanas are here. Um, wonderful new situations that are coming in. Um, and um, the number nine is going to be your energy vibration, number nine. The number nine is going to be your energy vibration. So whatsoever is happening. Okay, as we go forward and we're looking at the situation. On Monday, we have the two of wands. The two of wands is new possibility. New doors of opportunities are opening up for you. Whatever is happening, these possibilities are wonderful. These new doors of possibilities opening up for you. What is here and what I'm seeing is the energy vibration of the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords could be somebody who is uh, um, a boss or that sort of a situation. And she is coming at you, but she can't hurt you because whatever is happening, you are um, spiritually protected. Okay, so whatever the situation is... Uh, because this week is justice and this week has the zodiac energy of water so this is going to be a lot of transformation whatever is happening it has to do with the lovers it's had to do with the lovers and this is good because it has an effect on children in this week also on tuesday you have the energy of the fool you're walking away from something the world is um, about to open up new beginnings the world is success the energy of a situation and you're moving on a new journey so a lot of wonderful beautiful success is coming in your life on Wednesday you have the page of Pentacles whatever this page of Pentacles was this page of Pentacles as the energy vibration of um, your your child this page of ones I mean is a message that is coming in this page of one is a message that is coming in but this page of one is also bringing the energy of love also so it's a message of love that is coming in and this message of love is coming from the lovers because the lovers is your focus of this week whatever is going on it has to do with the energy of love but it has to also to do with the energy of uh, um, connecting partnership new partnership is about to be a made you have the energy of the nine of swords in reverse so whatever was your worries is no longer is going to be your worries because you are going to be victorious over this situation whatsoever that was there that was affecting you this nine of swords that you had worries about something you have uh, no need to have any worries because you're going to be victoriously successful and triumphant over this situation as we look at Friday your wishes and dreams are coming true which is a wonderful thing I see this coming up for a lot of people that your wishes and dream the nine of cups is coming through new beginnings new opening are happening the number nine and the number two is going to be as um, playing a vital role in your life in this week as we look at uh, um, the energy of Saturday is the energy of the angman but it is in the upright position and this is the um, the reverse position which is good because it's bringing you a lot of money <laughs> whatever is that is happening with this angman energy it's bringing you the ace of pentacles a lot of money will be coming into you new life new um, situation with your money situation a new situation with your health situation it is new it is as if a portal something is opening up for you on a Saturday, you have the Queen of Pentacles. She was reverse, and this is how she would be. Whatever it is on Sunday, the loving situation, whatever situation that was happening, um, she is in the reverse form. But look at it as whatever the, she had done, this situation is being cleared up. Um, so 
if there was someone who the queen of cups had a situation that she had done something the queen of cups energy is the queen of uh, uh, the energy of uh, um um, the, if your mom is uh, um, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpion, be aware of this. And if you have brothers and sisters that is of uh, a fire sign, of Aries, um, uh, uh, a Leo, and a Sagittarius, or you have. Uh, some sibling that is the um, Pisces Cancer or Pisces Cancer or um, Scorpion. There is a situation that is going on between these two siblings. So um, look and see if you're a mother of two kids that is uh, one is a water sign one is a fire sign there is a situation that is happening because it's it's playing out here whatever situation that you were worried about your wishes and dreams are coming true new possibilities new doors of possibilities it is opening up for you in work and it's opening up for you in uh, you know, if you have something that was uh, unjust to you, it's going to be balanced out. This is it, it, this is profoundly um, um, positive. A new situation with work situations are coming up. Um, it's as if the world is going to open up and you are going to have this connection. And these are going to be wonderful possibilities. So you have the energy vibration of victoriously um, getting over your worries. There is no more worries. The worries are falling away. Um, and it's replaced with a nine of cups. So the nine of swords energy is falling away and it's replacing with a nine of cups. Uh, whatsoever is happening here, um, the energy of love, new doors, new, you, you know, your wishes and dream, what you were wishing for. Some people are wishing for, a, a, you know, a, a positive life, good work, uh, um, you know, good situations in your life. And this is all happening because, uh, the energy of the hangman on Saturday is that you're out of that hangman situation, which you're feeling that your energy is no more up there. Your energy is good. Love, love is 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 love is strong in this week. A lot of men are going to um, go on a new journey. A lot of men are going to connect with new people. New love is coming in your life. And this is going to be a strong love. This is be going to be a universal love for a lot of men. A lot of men are going out on the limb uh, uh, um, uh, in new relationships. Uh, they're going to connect. Uh, and, and this new relationship is going to be good because whoever that, that was affected by the king of the queen of sword, the queen of sword energy is someone who is an Aquarius, uh, a, a Leo, uh, no, Aquarius, a, a, a Gemini, or uh, liberal whoever that has been connected with this sort of a thing and um, it's it's going to change the energy of this is going to change and it's going to be positive this old situation is going to be extremely positive for you there's an opportunity these 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 it's, it's as if doors of opportunity open up on Monday and Friday. So whatsoever that is happening, whether in business on Friday, your wishes and dreams are going to come through. So if you were looking for work, you're going to hear get good news about work situation. If you were looking for love, it's going to be also good news coming up. New doors and opportunities, new portals are opening up for you. And this is just going to be um, positive. This is going to be extremely positive. So, you know, be aware of what, whatever is happening. Love is going to be positive. Um, new possibilities. New. Uh, a lot of people are going to have new love affair. Um, and, and it can be love of your work for some people. And, and this is love. Uh, I love something that is close to you. Your heart is filled. And uh, this is going to be positive. I'm sorry. I just went off there. Okay, let's see what the energies of the unicorns. Please show us the energy. What you have for the Virgos, for the Virgo people in the coming week. What energies do you have? 
for the Virgo people in the coming week and it's count your blessings this is a wonderful energy because it has been coming out so you know whatever is happening count your blessings if it's even that you buy the lottery and you just win a dollar or, 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 or so count your blessings for whatever you win count your blessings for the wonderful situation and experience that are coming in your life and uh, and you know your future is good. let go of the past because your future is going to be wonderful let go of your past because your future is going to be wonderful let's look at whatsoever is happening and let's understand what is happening for this week we're asking the ascendance the ascendance card to say what is the, the message that is here and it is Archangel Metatron and he said I connect with Archangel Metatron today I connect with Archangel Metatron today so you are blessed to receive this card for a, a mighty universal angel Archangel Metatron he, who is uh, coordinating the ascension of this planet is touching you he is illuminating your aura with his golden orange light as he work with your stellagatory chakra your message is to relax and allow Archangel Metatron wings to enfold you. Ask to visit Archangel Metatron in your sleep um, and visit him as the Ascension Retreat is in Lux during meditation or your sleep time so that you can receive his guidance. This may come as though a whisper or a feeling. When you act sincerely for help, on your ascension journey Archangel Metatron will help open up new doors uh, for you and guide you through them and this is wonderful so here I am leaving you with a wonderful positive energies for you um, Virgos because it's going to be an extremely positive week um, remember whoever have kids and um, or you know to um, be aware of what is going on in these children lives if your parents is a, 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 a Pisces or a, a cancer or a scorpion be aware of what is happening so this is going to be positive so I want to say to each and every person um, have a very wonderful week and we will speak next week